we live in such a great age where, uh, you know, people are addressing so many things, gender, um, but age is still the one thing that you're not allowed to do and it happens to everyone. When do you ever have a senior moment? Is it physical? Is it technology? When do you feel, okay, maybe I'm mature? Memory. Ah. Memories just, just, it just, I mean, I really see it, I get, I got scared. I went and did a test, you know, for dementia. Just they, they, they just said, no, this is what's called getting old. I said, oh, um, okay. And of course, um, smartphones and all of that. My kids just go, Dad, just oh, slow down. Wait, just slow. So then I, I can't use other than using my phone. You know, I have no ability to take full advantage of what they're what they're capable of. Um, and it and it has sped up. Everything, you know, it's yeah. it's, it's it's speeding up. One of the things I loved about the show is how it goes into real life issues that we don't want to talk about. And if you'll excuse me going into one of them, um, I love how your daughter dates an older gentleman. And obviously you've dated in every age range. So um, what are you telling your 16 year old? Is that too soon to have that discussion? You try to tell her about the values uh, I, you know, we'll see how it goes. But do I think about the worst nightmare in terms of am I going to be the father? Like, like when she comes to me, Dad, I want you to meet my boyfriend. I said, How old are you? <laughs> you know, so, so we'll see. But I think she's. I'm going to stay out of it. She's got her her, her head on right. I'm sure she does. Um, I'm currently waiting for uh, a test to come back for a health issue and your character goes through something similar. Um, I'm sure you had the love of your friends and family. I was wondering what you learned personally in dealing with it, and uh, has it changed the way you view life going forward? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think about the, the, the right answer for this, um, this question. Because you have to say something to yourself while yeah. all of this is going on. Um, you got to wait for the end results and to see where it's at and then you have a plan of uh, of attack and um, you just have to be kind to yourself and put yourself in an environment as, as stress-free uh, as stress-free as possible and everybody can uh, i was very fortunate with my kids uh, around me they seem to really just sort of understand the situation we're not overly terrified but we're we're, we're really supportive and you just try to kind of go with it until they tell you um, you're clean or, or you're not. And so I just sort of put faith in, in what my doctors were telling me. And fortunately, I was one of those who came out the other end clean. Well, I hope your character does so we can have a third season. <laughs> I, I feel too. I look forward to it. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for your you time. so much. I appreciate it. Nice I really to see you. Enjoyed it.